killer whale with four legs and large snout found in Egypt. The Sahara Desert has been found with fossil remnants of an ancient four-legged whale species that roamed the seas 43 million years ago. According to scientists, the ancient discovery represents an important element of the history of whale development today. The beast's bone fragments indicate that it had a large snout, keen, pointed teeth, and strong jaws. Considered the killer whale of its day, scientists believe it resembled a mix between a dolphin and a gigantic underwater wolf. It was possibly up to 10 feet long and weighed almost a ton. The newly discovered species lived during the Eocene era and is called Phyomycetus Anubis after the Egyptian deity Anubis, who had a canine skull. Anubis has a dog's head and a human body in Egyptian mythology. Mummification and the afterlife were connected with the deity. The whale ambushed big prey such as rays, sharks, and sawfish, as well as marine reptiles, by trapping them in shallows along the coast, according to researchers. The groundbreaking finding offers new insight into the mysterious animal's ultimate transition from land to water. Phyomycetus was one of the first whales, or protocetids, which gave birth to the world's largest creatures. Today's blue whales may exceed 110 feet in length and weigh up to 190 tons, more than double the size of the biggest dinosaurs. The fossilized bones discovered include the skull, ribs, and other skeletal components. They were discovered in 2008 during a multinational trip to the Fayum Depression, a zoo near the Nile Valley. Around 7 million years ago, the Great Desert was created, and had been covered by a huge sea named Tethys. Whales originated from terrestrial creatures about 50 million years ago. They were typical land creatures, having big, predatory fangs and lengthy skulls. In recent years, new information about their past has been gleaned from fossils. However, Africa's rise has gone mostly unnoticed. Phyomycetus is the most primitive whale yet discovered in Africa, completing a critical piece of the jigsaw puzzle. Professor Hesham Salam directs the Salam Lab. It is committed to training Egyptian vertebrate paleontologists, increasing public knowledge of Egypt's vertebrate paleontological riches, and collecting, preparing, studying, and conserving Egypt's fossil vertebrates.